Morning. Get us set up. <laughs> We'll get going in a minute. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be a small group um, in the live time today. Um, a few people, um, yeah, just busy. I think this sunny weather has brought out um, a busyness, hasn't it? Um, enjoying getting out, doing some things. Um, but actually, for me, I have such quiet weekends, which I'm really enjoying. Um, so yeah, this is a little bit of a treat. I look forward to having a little stretch. Um, so yeah, good morning. We will, um, we're going to work a little bit of um, side body today and a little bit of the core um, as a focus, I suppose. We kind of do whole body work, but um, I wanted to say we're going to build towards side plank. So please don't feel like you need to do side plank. You can definitely do that on the knee, but I will give that option in the class. Um, again, a little bit of a challenger, that one, um, who will do a little bit of our, our kind of abs and our obliques, like twisting that way in that direction, maybe from the knee and side plank, maybe lifting from side plank, but that'll be the, the sort of challenger and the pose that we're, we're kind of working in the direction of. So yeah. All right, let's find our lovely um, relaxed um, beginning pose. We're going to start on our backs today. So join me in your favorite um, Shavasana pose on your back. Um, yeah, just allow the shoulders to melt down. We'll get some music going. We'll have a lovely little stretch together. Good morning, good morning. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, happy October first. And just lying down, allowing the body to just feel that connection with the floor, with the mat. Just taking whatever little movement you need to get into that lovely, cozy place of stillness. Just making the start of the practice yours. Maybe lifting the head and just getting that light in the neck. Maybe doing whatever you need with the legs, the feet, the shoulders. Finding that lovely, lovely beginning place. You're gonna allow the, the legs to drop out. You can drop the backs of the hands down alongside you. You can have them on the belly, wherever it feels good today. And just begin to find that lovely bit of quiet and peace. And as we begin this lovely new month of October, I'm not gonna lie, it's one of my favorite months. I just love everything about the change in weather, the change in nature. I love breathing in that lovely, a little bit more crisp air, but also feeling that warmth of the sun. That lovely, I suppose, want to kind of be in the woods, Looking forward to collecting leaves and doing little things like that with the kids. Just enjoying this lovely new month and new season ahead. I invite you to just breathe in that little bit of change, that little bit of light, that little bit of joy. And breathe out any heaviness that you're holding. Got it. Breathing in. That lovely sense of new and breathing out anything heavy, anything that's old, that's not serving you. Good. Breathing in and letting go. Breathing in and letting go. Exhale. You've got it. Good. Breathing in and exhale, letting go. Lovely. From here, just setting a little intention, maybe for your class, maybe for the month ahead, whatever it is that you'd like to soak up a little more of. I mean, is it light? Is it peace? Is it joy? Is it being creative? Is it quiet? Is it hibernation? 
what is it that you might stick to? Any of those phrases, all of them, whatever it is, maybe just invite all that goodness into your life, breathing in. And again, releasing and letting everything go as the tree she can follow suit. And to bend the knees and bring the feet in and slowly bring both knees in towards the chest. Just see if you can get that little bit of sense of how the hips are feeling today. And a little rock side to side. Good. Inhale and slowly exhale. Maybe moving the neck. Oh, that lovely little hug. Just nice to check in. Where are you? The back, the neck, the hips, the knees. Three, two, and one. Breathing in. And as we exhale, just squeeze up and set that lovely little ball, feeling small. Give yourself a big hug. Remind yourself you're doing your best. <laughs> Three, two, one. Slowly bring everything down. Keep inhaling. So it's a small little focus on our core today. We're going to start with our big squeezes and our drops. So breathing in. And as we exhale, we squeeze in. Give yourself a hug. And the inhale, drop it down. And then exhale, squeeze it in. So you can really push that lower back and lift the chest as you squeeze and drop it down. Exhale, inhale, exhale, squeeze. Good, inhale, drop it down. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, drop it down. And exhale, squeeze. All tends to come back down on all the three. Two, and one, drop everything down, relax the neck and the shoulder. We've got it. We're going to bring both knees in and big toes to touch, taking our circles with our knees. Knees draw in, take them wide, saying hello to the hips, but still keeping that connection with the lower back and the floor. You get that lovely little bit of work firing up that core as we move. Good. Take them slow or quick if you like. Breathing in. And slowly breathing out. Good work. For five. Nice. Four. I love this one. Three. Two. And lovely work. And last one. Drawing them in. Little squeeze and bring both feet down onto the mat. Lovely. We're going to bring the hands down alongside the body. We're going to draw the knee in. Flex the heel and slowly feel like that little creak. Hello to the hamstring, extend as far as feels good. Spend the knee and bring the foot back down. Good. Switching side. Draw it in. Flex the heel. Little hello to the back of the leg. And in and down. Switching in. Breathing in. A lovely little flex. And in. And down, um, good, and switch at your own pace, finding that lovely little movement, just feeling the body. It's our beginning poses, so we're just trying to get the muscles to kind of move, telling them that we're here to kind of get going. Lovely little smile to the body. <laughs> Three. Get at your own pace. Two. Deep breath in and out. Finishing whichever one you just completed and bring both feet down. You've got it. You come back to the right. So this time we're going to inhale, kick it up. You've got the option to bring the foot back down or you can bend and slowly extend the leg out, out, out. So we get a little bit of that wake up of the core. We tap the heel on the floor, lift it back up and keep the right side going. We lift up towards the ceiling, draw it in and we extend. If the extension feels too much, then just bring it back to kicking forward and breathe in with me and find a pace that suits you. If you're really in the mood to kind of find that little bit of heat or quickly or just move in the middle or really slow. Notice where your body is today. Three. Inhale and exhale. Two. Inhale and exhale. Last one. And your legs extended towards the ceiling. Hold it there, a little micro bend, and just roll the ankle for me when you're ready. 
Lovely. Four. Nice deep breaths. Three. Two. And one. Lovely. Bending the knee and slowly bringing it down. Let's do the other side. Come and chuck it up. And in. And find that little extension. You've got it. And try and find that connection with the lower back here and pushing all the lower back muscles into the mat. Good. Don't forget to breathe. Again, you move at your own pace, yogi's choice for five. Don't forget to breathe in. And exhale, maybe let a little smile go. Just how good it feels to move to. And exhale. Inhale, next time the leg is extended towards the ceiling, a little micro bend, and just find a little movement in that other form. Again, just finding a little joy in the movement this morning, a little love letter to the body, saying hello and checking in, moving and stretching and releasing. Inhale, exhale, slowly bring the foot in and back down. You've got it. All right, from here, we're going to get a little bit more into the core. We're going to put the tailbone under and feel that lovely power in the core. So you're pushing lower back in, almost feels like you're lifting and tucking the pelvis under. Good. So here we go, core is strong, hands alongside the body, and bring the chin to center. When you feel comfortable, we're going to slowly bring the knees up so that the knees are in line with the hips. So just feel like you're pushing that lower back into the mat. So where my knees are lifted now, I can already feel that little fire in the core. If it does feel too much, do one foot and then the other. So you can tap one and then the other, or you can work with me in a little bit more powerful manage both feet and draw them up. All right, so that's yogi's choice. You can either do one and then the other or both legs. Ready, inhale, and slowly exhale. Either tapping one toe than the other or both legs. Feel that core, that connection, and draw it in. The slower you go, the more challenging it is. Inhale and exhale. Again, I'm going to count you down from eight to as many as you like, quick or slow. Eight, three. Throw a little smile in there. Seven, say hello to that core. Six, Keep that connection with the lower back. Five. A little bit of power. You've got it. Four. Imagine the feet are moving through the cement. Three. Three. Ooh, feeling that power. Two. And your last one. Take it whichever way you need it or leave it out. And slowly bring both knees in, relax the lower back, and give yourself that little hug we began with. Maybe moving the head. See if you feel any different so far. And from your first little knees in, I definitely do actually. Mind the hips were tight drawing them in at the start of the day. Body feels a little bit different in different weather. Three, two, and one. Nice one, everybody. Inhale, slowly bringing the feet back and bringing both down. You've got it. We're going to inhale and reach the arms up towards the ceiling and interlace the fingers and just find a little roll of those wrists. Nice opportunity to warm that up. Maybe rub the forearms in towards each other, relaxing the face and breathing in. Oh, slowly exhale. You've got it. Lovely. And then we're going to slowly bend in the elbows and push the fingers out if that feels comfortable. Again, if you have any arthritis or any limitations, just listen to your body and amend in whatever way feels good. It would be nice to stretch the fingers, a little bit of the wrist there. Good. Slowly turning them back in towards the face and just open and close, little shakeouts. We're going to bend the elbows and bring the hands just behind the head. So kind of think like behind the ears, maybe letting the thumbs come down towards that lower part of the ear or the jaws and relax everything down good we're gonna breathe in and take a little option to twist if you like we breathe in we lift taking a little crunch maybe twist and draw the right knee and the left elbow over and then we lift in the middle and slowly come back down good so try on the other side inhale we lift push the lower back in we twist and then we lift back to the center 
and uh, if that feels too much today just take a few crunches here just lifting and keeping the legs down when you're ready we'll kind of just hit the sequence i'm going to push us a little bit but stop whenever you want all right you feel it and work whatever way that you feel like moving inhale and slowly exhale good breathing in should we exhale lift into a crunch a little twist if you like and lift and down good let's lift and twist and lift and down good just meeting other parts of the obliques when we study kind of the abs just kind of, there's so many different layers to kind of get to and that core strength is so powerful for us in lots of our health so keep moving or stop and join us again ready and keep pushing three five you've got it four that's it inhale and exhale three two inhale and exhale one breathing in and slowly drop it down allowing the neck to fall down maybe reaching the arms up alongside the ears this time arch the back the other direction so you're trying to get that little bit of a gum go walking underneath that kind of feeling so reaching along arch the spine oh really good the three two and one love a little release there nice job everyone and slowly lift bringing the lower back down onto the mat good inhale we're going to bring the hands back up towards the ceiling and down alongside the body. Let's walk the heels in towards the table and stretch the spine. We're going to squeeze into the glutes and just lift a little bit, pushing the hands up to the mat, the chin comes in towards the chest, and just see how that feel, what's going on for you, how are you today, and then slowly come down, again, connecting that lower back with the floor. Lovely. Inhale. And exhale, dreamy little back bend, giving us a lovely stretch in the neck. Let's lift back up, lower back, middle back, upper back. If you are in the mood, lift a little higher, chin comes towards the chest. Good, pushing into the feet, maybe interlacing the fingers and wiggling those shoulders in towards each other. The shoulder blades come towards each other, chin in. So if you're here, it's really important not to look at the camera, to keep the chin drawing in, keep that stretch. We don't want any sort of pain or strain as we lift. And if you notice the knees bowing out, see if you can squeeze them in as you push. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. And full, bringing everything down. Spine slowly, slowly making its way back down onto the mat. Beautiful. Inhale and slowly exhale. <laughs> Lovely job. Last one. So taking it, if you have real toes in your practice, please feel free. Otherwise, just lifting up. We're going to push into the heel. You may be reaching to the ankles here with the head. Maybe interlacing the fingers and wiggling the shoulders in. Maybe lifting a little higher. Chin in if you want a little bit more power. Lift both heels and work to push that shoulders up and then drop the heels, just keeping that lift for five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Unraveling and coming down slowly, slowly, slowly onto the mat. Beautiful work. And then we're going to take the feet a little wider this time, moving them back slightly away from the tailbone and drop both knees in. Good. Now today's practice is really based on giving your whole body stretch, just feeling really good, but also just getting a little bit more of twist and higher in the oblique. So see, we're going to twist here just to get that little bit of the body moving. Again, we're going to move towards a bit of a side plank today, which is a challenging pose. You choose whether you want to go there or stay on the knee. This is a really nice one just to kind of introduce that little bit of a twist motion we might do. We're going to wiggle the shoulders so that both shoulder blades are down on the mat. So if that means lifting the knee slightly, that's fine too. And draw the chin in. Good. Option to stay here. You can reach the arms up and over the head. So you can have arms and hands separate. You can interlace the finger. 
Oh, or you can push them out. Give you a lovely stretch across that side body. You can breathe into that left side intentionally. Breathing into that left ribs. And breathing out. I can sometimes feel it all the way down. That hip bone. Really quite nice. Only if that feels good. That's great. Two and one. You've got it. Option to keep the arms up over the head or bring them down. And knees come back to center. And drop them to the other side. Again, one for you that you could do every day if you like this twist. It's so lovely. So healthy. Probably one I feature in most of my classes. Maybe wiggling the shoulders down this time, breathing into the right side rib. Inhale. And exhale. I think it just gives you that lovely little full body stretch. Great release, especially in the morning. My back is always just a little bit funny. Really nice one. For four. Breathing in for three. Two. Just enjoying it. And one. Oh, feels good to me. Bringing it in and slowly walk those feet back into the middle. We're going to reach both hands up. We're going to give ourselves one last little hug here and an option to cross the feet, maybe grab the toes. See if you can get your little back massage. Don't worry if you can't get up all the way to seated, but play with it. So we draw the knees in and we walk forward with the chin and see if you can get just a little bit more momentum happening. And if you've got it, maybe push a little harder. See if you can get up to seated. Maybe come back down again. And oh, all the way up. It's a bit of play. Last one. The best part of yoga sometimes is come back to being a kid and lift up. And if not, just bring the feet to the side and slowly come up to a nice upright position. Good. Hopefully you've got a drink. Grab a little drink with me. Nice little warm up for you. Good. Breathing in. And breathing out. Cheers, everyone. Oh. All right, so in this next sequence, we're going to walk the mat a long way. Um, and we're going to come up onto the knees and kind of move a little bit from this direction. So you want to extend the left toes. I'm going to move my top if I don't feel it. And you're going to extend the left toes. And we're just going to work here from this position. So imagine that you're coming from tabletop. Hands in front, you can have the um, hands into a fist if that creates anything easier for the, the wrist. We're going to extend that leg out. Now, traditionally, the toe is pointing forward, but see what feels good to you. Notice if you've got any inner hamstring stretch happening already and just work with it. We're going to walk the hands slightly more forward. Inhale, lean forward with the pelvis. And then slowly leaning back. Imagine you're thinking child's pose. You can walk the hands a little closer, sitting down. So if you feel it right away, just stay a little higher. This is one that I think we build on. Inhale, slowly leaning forward. It gets a little bit easier as the body knows you're headed there. Inhale and exhale, just slowly easing back a little further if the body lets you. Just working. We don't want to push too hard at all in that inner hamstring. Just a nice little stretch here. Inhale. And exhale, sinking down. So holding this time wherever feels comfortable. If the tailbone comes all the way to the heel, that's fine. You can reach forward and we'll bow the chest down as well. Only if that flexibility is there for you. Again, if it's not, it's perfect to be a bit more uplifted, just sinking back in that tailbone. Relax the neck wherever you are, breathing in and breathing out. Love a little stretch, inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Breathing and slowly coming back up. Beautiful. We're going to walk the hands in and use the core to lift up. Hands onto the hips. Beautiful. We're going to wiggle the foot slightly in and turn the toes out towards the short edge of the mat. So what you're imagining here is like on the knee, warrior two. So that kind of heels coming in kind of towards the knee, just slightly behind. Inhale, we reach out for your two arms. Inhale, drop the shoulders down and draw in from your core, feeling that length and that strength. Getting a little bit into the hip here, we're gonna sink into that knee. Notice that the knee, as you bend, is coming in towards the heel. So you're getting a little into the hip. Try not to reach forward, stay a little bit more back, lift it, drawing in from the core. Feel like I'm pulling from the top of the head. And hello to that hip, three, Two, and one, straightening it out. 
Inhale. And exhale, little sink. We're just going to keep moving, moving. Drop the shoulders down. Maybe check those middle fingers are in line with each other. Drawing in from the core. Three, two, and one. And straighten. Keep it flowing. One more. Bending. Drop it down. Lift from the head. You've got it. In from the core. Three, two, and one. Inhale. Slowly, slowly extending. Breathing in. And then we're going to reach the opposite direction towards the right. And that hand can come down. Either bring the fingertips down or you can come down to a fit. But instead of having it in lines the shoulder, take it out a little further and just shift the weight there. So notice my weight is coming onto that wrist and that top hand's going to come down, dropping the shoulders down. So this is the perfect start to us thinking about our side plank. So I want you to think of the tailbone dipping out. Can we squeeze and tuck the tailbone under a little bit more? And feel that length here. Just dropping the shoulders, just connect the door, look down, look forward, and we're potentially looking up. So we can rotate that shoulder, so the left shoulder up and back, and maybe looking forward to feel if it feels okay. If you wanted to shift and lift that leg, that's an option too. That's getting into the core, keep tucking and squeezing, maybe lifting up. So your option can be put on the floor. But lifted, maybe reach the palm up, up to you. And that can be wherever it feels good for three. And working from the four, two, inhale and exhale. One, beautiful, bringing it down slowly, bending to that left foot, slowly working, using the core to come back up and bring the hands down. Good, the inhale, reach the arms up. Take a little wiggle out with that left foot, slowly come back down into that tabletop like position and swing the knee back in. Good little cat and cow for it. Let's touch the tail one under. Feel that lovely cat. Well, maybe a wiggle or two. The tail one left to right here. So we've got a little extra stretch across the back. Three, two, and one. Inhale, coming back to center. Rotate the shoulders up and back. Lifting to find that cow. Beautiful. Draw the shoulders down. Relax the forehead. Maybe close the eyes for a minute. Just working tailbone down, belly soft. Relaxing in the face. Maybe little, little corners of the mouth lift. Little smile. Three. Breathing in. Two. And one. Lovely to move the body and spend time with yourself this morning. Inhale. Let's lift the tailbone under. Slightly drawing in from the core. Finding that flat back. We're going to wiggle the right toes out this time. You've got it. And just feel that little stretch here. Again, at any point coming onto a fist, you can lift up here. If you have a block, blocks are fine as well. But if you've got that stretch in the hamstring, just listen to it. Hold and breathe. Inhale. And then exhale. Good. If you want, you can lean forward slightly, dropping the pelvis forward. And then slowly leaning back. And remember that first one might be extra tight. Just think, feel that little stretch into the leg, into the backs of the knee. Good. Inhale, slowly leaning forward, coming back. <laughs> A little smile, relax the face. And exhale, sinking down. Look. Inhale, leaning forward. And last one, thinking back with the option to hold here. Maybe coming down a little further if the body lets you. Maybe letting the body maybe bow down. Listen, y'all. Well. Stay where you need to be and just breathe, relieve. Inhale. And slowly exhale. For three, two, and one, breathing and slowly coming back up to that lovely tabletop position, walking the hands in and lifting the body up to a nice upright position on the mat. Good, we're gonna wiggle the foot in slightly and turn the toes out. So this time you've got the left or right toe, sorry, on the short edge and your left knee is facing the long edge. Good. And remember, take it further if you need to, because the knee needs to bend and be in line with the ankle rather than in a diamond shape. So we've got a nice wide stance. You've got it. Inhale and exhale, reaching wide, throw up the shoulders down, feeling really long here. 
I want you to focus on breathing in and exhale, squeezing, tucking the pelvis under, drawing in from the center. Good. And then looking forward, lining up those middle fingers. You've got it. Inhale, keeping the body where it is, just sinking down into that knee, getting that lovely bit of work into the hip. Relax the forehead. Good. Inhale, lifting up. And exhale, straightening that leg a little, keeping it fluid and exhale, sinking. I don't know about you, but that hit is tight for me today. Inhale, lifting and extending. And exhale, sinking, drawing in from your core. And we're going to hold this one a little longer. Just breathe, relax, smile, enjoy that little bit of heat you're creating. Two and one. Inhale, straightening that leg. You've got it. We're going to turn the toes forward, breathing in. Reaching out this time, left hand comes down. We don't want to align the shoulder a little bit wider. Again, fingertips, fist, or coming down onto the palm. We've got it. That top hand, maybe bring it to the hip. Just to begin, drop both shoulders down. If the tailbone sticking out, inhale. Tuck the pelvis under and feel that length. So again, if that means you need to lift that, tucking under and feeling that lovely length. That's a perfect place to stay, just finding a bit of comfort here, figuring out where the neck feels best. If you wanted to, if it feels okay, as you squeeze, maybe you can lift that leg up to you, maybe reaching the top hand out. And just breathe, just checking in where you're feeling that stretch, using the core here to get that leg extended. For four, three, two, a little smile and one, dropping it down. Nice work, everyone. Slowly bending into that right knee, using the core to come back up nice, slow and safe. Swoop the arms up and bring the hands down into your tabletop. Good. We're going to bring the knee in so that we're back in our tabletop position, taking a lovely little cat pose, tucking the tail under, and maybe just moving the hips slightly side to side. I feel like you're wagging your tail, but you're trying to keep that shape. You get a little bit more stretch in the side body. Four, three, two, and one. Coming back to center, inhale. We take the shoulders up and back, pushing into the hands, draw the shoulders down in a way. Relax the face, maybe close the eyes if you like the work in that tailbone. Finding that lovely cow pose. For three, that lovely release in the spine. For two, the inhale and exhale. For one, beautiful. Drawing in from the core. Good. We're going to take the knees nice and wide, big toes to touch, and slowly just come down to that lovely, lovely child's pose. Knees wide, a little more, bit more depth into the hips, little extra release here. If you want, you can move the forehead side to side on the mat or on the fist. Close the eyes and just breathe, checking in. How are you feeling at this point in the class? Breathing in and slowly breathing out. For four, three, two, Inhale and exhale, and one. And slowly begin to bring the palms down. We're going to lift the chest, lift up into the tailbone, and bring the knees back to hip distance. Nice job. We're going to tuck the, the toes and arch the back into cat, lifting up to our first downward dog of the day. We're working the palms down and wiggling the heels, maybe swinging those hips. Did a little bit in the hamstrings, not too much. Getting a nice stretch from the work we've done. Maybe a little bit of that back. Maybe swing the head left to right like you're saying no. Inhale and exhale. Maybe up and down like you're saying yes. Four, three, two, and one. Let's work both heels down at the same time, whether knees are bent or extended. We'll look forward between the thumbs. You choose step or bend the knees and see if you can hop. Even if it's a really small hop, 
slowly bringing the hands to match and the chin down towards the chest. Really just let it all hang here for a minute. A really nice opportunity to just let gravity do the work. Allowing the inversion to work, it's magic. Maybe swinging a little bit side to side. Nice loose arms, maybe lifting a little bit left to right. Fingertips swooping down for four, three, two, and back to center for one. Good. What we're going to do here is if you allow the body to sink down, see if you can shift the weight over towards the left leg and maybe work to extend the right a little bit. So left knees bend and just getting a little bit more stretch in the back of that hamstring. And then bending both knees, shifting the weight over to the right, maybe seeing if you can extend the left. Just a little bit more in the hamstrings, a little bend in both, one more on each side, breathing in. We're breathing out, bending, and then switching last side. And bending both knees. Good. Take your time coming up. So peel the body the head coming up last this time. Instead of starting in a halfway, just come up slow. Stop when you need to. Not erase ever in yoga. Feel the spine. Almost like we had on the floor in our back bends. And then come on up to a nice tall position. Standing. You've got it. Breathing in with me. Exhale through the mouth. Beautiful. Breathing in through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Making sure there's no dizziness. Maybe grabbing a quick drink if you have it. We're going to move just a little bit quicker now as we move into our flow. And I'm going to build in as we go. This will be the, the heat part of the class. That bit of warmth created with an option to take full um, side plank or side plank from the knee. So grab what you need. And again, if this feels a little bit more like heated, remember you've got a dreamy little stretch in Shavasana following our lovely flow today. All right, when you're ready, meet me in the front of the mat, feet hip distance, breathing and rotate the shoulders up. And back. Just take some big shoulder rolls. Four. Good. Three. Deep breath in. And out. Two. And one. Good. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Maybe a little back bend if you like. And exhale, leaning forward, hinging at the hips. And bend the knees, hold down over the toes. Exhale. Halfway lift. Bend the knees. We'll take two back to standing, reaching up. And palms in. Drop the shoulders down, tucking in the pelvis, drawing in from the core. Good. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale, hinging at the hips, just feeling the body. Bend the knees, fold down. Exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Bend the knees, scoop the arms up, reaching up, 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 nice length, and bring the palms in, drop the shoulders down, draw in from the navel, under, with the pelvis to find that lovely long spine. Relax the breath, let's flow, inhale, reaching up, exhale, hinging up the hips, folding down over the toes, halfway lift, good, bend the knees, shift the weight to the hand step, we'll hop back. To your high plank option to be up or on the knees you choose in your high plank holding here dipping in the pelvis maybe pushing into the palms relax the forehead maybe feel like the chest is drawing forward as the heels draw back breathing in and out if you're on the knees keep leaning forward with the pelvis draw in from the core and push into the hand again always if the palms of the wrist feel too much come to a fix three two and one, either lowering down to the knees or pushing into the toes, slowly lowering the whole of the body down onto the mat. Good little cobra, rotate the shoulders up, wiggle the shoulder blades in towards the body and push into the hands, lifting as far as feels comfortable, drawing the chin in. 
Inhale. And exhale, slowly coming back down, tucking the back toes. Use the core and the body to peel up. And then lifting the knees and shifting the weight back to your downward dog. Drop the shoulders down. Now, option here is to walk the heels or shift the weight towards the right foot. You can keep that back leg bent, maybe extend the right, feeling long in a three-legged dog. Maybe bending the knee slightly and reaching the toes over towards the right, just opening the hip. If it feels too much, come back or come to the knees as well. Three, two, and one, bringing the foot back down, walking the heels. Inhale and exhale. So option to stay here, option to come to the knees and kick the leg out, or option to extend that left leg out, holding with the leg extended. Again, you can be on the knee with that right foot, maybe bend the knee and open the hip a little bit. Working under that armpit if you like. Breathe. Don't hold the breath for two. Inhale and exhale for one. Beautiful. Bringing the foot down. Inhale. With the cord between the thumbs, bend the knees, step or hop forward. You've got it. Lovely forward fold here. Let the neck drop down. Inhale, shift the weight towards that left leg and extend the right slightly. Inhaling and exhaling. Bend, shift to the other side. Inhale, bend the knees, halfway lift. So you choose drawing the hands up, working to extend the legs or fingertips to the mat. Relax the face. Inhale and exhale, bend the knees deep, swooping the arms up, nice and tall. Exhale, hands come in. You've got it, breathing in. And exhale through the mouth. Let's keep it flowing, let's keep moving, heating up, reaching up, and forward, folding down over the toes. Halfway lift. Exhale, step or shift the weight to the hands and hop back to your high plank. Good, we're going to push into the hands. Now, if you want it to be on the knees, down the knees. All right, if you want to be in the plank, stay here, dropping the pelvis. Now, we're going to drop the heels over towards the left hand side and open the body out. You've got the option to stay here on the knee. It looks like this. Swing that back foot back and we lift up into that side plank. So, staying here. That's your lovely position if you'd like. Or if the heels are dropped, you then can lift up if you want. You're pushing the hip up. Maybe that front foot, you can see if you can stack on top, lifting and pushing into the hand. All that side body stretching. Or stay on the knee, maybe lift the leg or bring it to the floor, three. That lovely side plank, two and one. Everybody slowly turn back. If you've got the knee on the ground, come back so that you're facing forward. You good job. We're gonna slowly lean forward and down onto the floor. Untuck the toes. Nice job, everyone. Inhale. We're gonna take the shoulders up and back, lifting the chest, keeping the elbows drawing in. Take a little baby cobra, breathe in. And exhale, coming down. Inhale, pushing back up, tucking the toes, and we're lifting up to that lovely downward dog. Inhale, walking the heels, or shift the weight and extend the right leg, opening the toes, opening that hip, looking underneath the heel leg. Three, little smile. Two, again, you can be on the knees for this, and one, maybe switching sides. Inhale, so walk the heels, come to the knees, and kick and open up with that left foot. Up to you though. And bring the foot back down. Inhale, exhale, step or hop. Bring the body forward and folding down. Definitely feeling that bit of warmth. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees and scoop it up. Swooping the arms up towards the ceiling. Hands coming in. Nice one. You can feel the strength and the heat. Maybe the little bit of challenge, always come to the knees, find a child's pose and join us whenever you're ready, if it feels a lot. Remember you'll have the recording so you can go back to it. Inhale, exhale through the mouth. Let's do it again, reaching up and forward fold, down over those toes. 
A little halfway lift wherever it is. Bend the knees, shift the weight to the hands, step. We'll bend the knees and hop back, high plank or to the knees. Good, you know where we're going this time. We're gonna dip the pelvis in here if you're in the plank. If you're on the knees, swing the right foot and open the body towards the left side. In plank, drop the heels towards the left and see maybe if it feels comfortable, if it feels okay, maybe lift that hand up. Now we don't wanna dip here, we wanna lift up in that hip. Maybe see if you can bring the foot up. Maybe stacking it, lifting up, throwing the shoulders down and away. If it feels too much, come down to the knee, maybe lift the leg, it's up to you for three, for two, and one. Slowly bringing that hand back down, rotating the feet back, and then slowly lowering yourself to the floor via the knees. We're staying in plank, leaning over the wrists and using the upper body. Nice job, everyone. Untuck those toes. Inhale, rotate the shoulders up and back. Inhale, push into the hands, lifting into your cobra. Deep breath, little smile, and exhale, coming down. Inhale, pushing into the hands, lifting up, using the core and swooshing, moving the body in. Check out the lovely downward dog, drop the shoulders down. Often to take three-legged, either from downward dog or from the knees. A little quicker this time, switch. Inhale. And exhale, three, two, and one, switching. Inhale, slowly step or hop forward and draw everything down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees and scoop it up. Reaching tall, hands coming. Let's find a moment with the eyes closed. Just to check in with the body, noticing the warmth, the stretch, the power. Inhale and exhale. I'm gonna give us one more with a little extra challenge from the side plank on the knee or lifted with a little bit of a twisting motion. So you choose where you want to be. Stay on the knee if you like, absolutely perfect. Breathing in with me through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Inhale and exhale. This is our last little bit of power before our chill. Inhale, reach it up. You've got it. Hinge at the hips, fold down over the toes. Low, halfway lift. Shift the weight forward, step or hop back to your high plank. Good. So either on the knees, open the body towards the right, or from plank, drop the heels over, open the body up and maybe lift. Whether you're on the knee or lifted, we're gonna reach up and see if you can slowly reach down with that right hand and twist, where you can be lifted and twist. You got it. Inhale. <laughs> and exhale. Good, come to the knee, switch up if you need to, inhale. There's your powerful little obliques and core. Three, two, and last one, bring the hand down. Everybody turn the body to face forward. Inhale, slowly lowering down onto the mat. You got it. We're gonna untuck the toes, rotate the shoulders up and back. Find that lovely little cobra. Last one, drop the shoulders. And breathe, slowly coming back down. Good, this time we're gonna peel the body up to tabletop. Good. And from here, you've got the option to swing that right foot back and open the body towards the left, staying on the floor to take our twists. Or you can slowly begin to extend both legs. Our last little bit of the sequence, if you wanna take the challenge, inhale, drop the heels down towards the right hand side and lift up. Again, lifting into that hip, drop the shoulder down, be the knee is just as good, remember that. No pose is any better than any other. Maybe dropping the hand in for reaching and lifting up. Definitely a challenger. So even if it's something you think, well, maybe at some point where it's perfect on the knee, remember the most important thing is to listen to your body. Three, come on, two, and one. You've got everyone slowly turning, bringing the body back to that lovely high point or coming back onto the knees. 
Everybody drop down to the knees for me. We're gonna tuck the toes and lift up to that last downward dog. Drop the shoulders down, inhale, look forward, step or hop. And draw everything down. Feeling that little bit of warmth, take the pressure off the wrist, maybe roll the wrists. I definitely find it's quite strong on the wrist, isn't it? If you take in those high planks, maybe roll them around each other, rotate it. So we rotate the, the fist and then we roll them around each other. Draw the chin in. Three, two, and one. Shake them out, inhale. Slowly, slowly peeling the whole body back up to a nice standing position. The head coming up last, eyes closed. Breathing in and breathing out when you get there. And just finding some stillness. Let me see if you can find that little bit more traditional Tadasana pose, tucking under, shoulders drawing in, navel draws in, closing the eyes, maybe bringing the hands onto the hips, and just breathing in and breathing out. Taking in the stillness, noticing how you feel in mind, in body, saying well done for showing up today. Maybe trying the challenge, moving quicker. It's quite a flow. Find a nice, slow, steady breath. Remember honoring your body, knowing that however the pose felt best to you today was perfect. Just a lot of different options there. Three, two, and one, breathing in. And as we exhale, bring the palms to touch. Good. And slowly, you can keep the eyes closed if you'd like, just rotate the body slightly over towards the right hand side, just a little twist, small, small. Breathing in and out. Inhale, coming back to center. And exhale, slowly twisting the body towards the left. Inhale and exhale for three, two, and one. Breathing in, coming back to center. You've got it. We're going to slowly just move the hands forward. Maybe open the eyes slightly and just begin to open the palms out and keeping the sides of the thumbs touching. We're going to rotate the thumbs forward. See if you can slowly bring the backs of the hands towards each other or touching. Depends if you've got any sort of pain or arthritis, bringing the hands in towards you, just keeping the rotation natural. And what'll happen is the hands will peel away and the pinkies will kind of touch. And then the palms in. I'm gonna open it again, fingers out like a little butterfly, drawing them down. Maybe really trying to push the backs of the hands in towards each other if that range of motion is there. And swoop it down. Inhale. One more circle and exhale. Good. Interlace the fingers. Just keep that lovely roll of the wrists. Maybe the forearms touching. Inhale and exhale for three, two, and one. Good. Let's bring the hands onto the hips. We're just going to inhale, rotate shoulders up and back. Making it really slow. Eyelids feeling a little bit heavy, well earned. Cool down. We're gonna bring the hands onto the shoulders this time and take our circles here, lifting up and dropping it down. You've got it. Nice one. Three, two, Inhale and exhale, and one. Inhale, just reach the arms up, slowly bend the knees, coming down, and the hands come in front, and bring yourself down to a seated position. Grabbing a drink. Ooh, just finding a little bit of place where you feel comfy and relaxed. Next one. Just change the... <laughs> 
And we're a little bit for you. Beautiful. Oh, lovely. I'm feeling warm. I don't know about you. Definitely a little bit of a challenge in there. Inhale. And as we exit, we're going to drop the right hand down. Left hand comes up. We'll just take a little pulse over towards the right hand side. So you bend a little bit in that right elbow and just take it. You can move the head left to right as you like as well. Just getting a little stretch across the side body. Maybe trying to push down in that left sit bone so you get that lovely little stretch all the way across the side body. Three, two, and one. Good inhale, reaching both arms nice and wide. A little smile. Well done, guys. I'm dropping it down. Top hand lifts. It can be really little. This time pushing down with the right sit bone towards the mat and just taking it a little bit here, side to side. Maybe bringing the head a little bit more exaggerated with the neck as you pulse for three. Inhale and exhale for two. And one. Breathing in, little reach. And exhale, we're reaching the arms out nice and long. Drop the shoulders down. Inhale, reach the arms up alongside the ears. And then we're going to bring them down in front of us. You can stay lifted, draw the chin in and close the eyes and tuck the chin towards the chest. Or if you want, you can take a nice little forward fold here from seated. If that's comfortable for you and your body and your hips. You can let everything just melt down. And wherever you are, whether it's a bit more upright, chin down, just close the eyes and breathe. Making a bit of stillness and softness to close down today's movement and practice. Inhale, slowly walk the body back up to an upright position if that feels comfortable. And just sit for a moment in stillness here. And I invite you just to lift the palms up, drop the shoulders down, drawing in from the navel. Just stay. See if you can tap into your breath. Maybe breathing in a little slower. And breathing out. Asking yourself how you feel in this moment. Were you able to just capture a little bit more quiet, a little bit more warmth, a little more release? Breathing in with me through the nose and exhaling a lovely cleansing breath through the mouth. Inhale and release. Two more, breathing in and release. Last one, breathing in all that is good, new and fresh in this month. Exhale, letting go all, just not serving you. You've got it. And then begin to find your favorite meditation or Shavasana pose. Begin to make your way down onto the mat, finding a cozy position or staying here today in the upright meditation, whatever feels best. If you have eye pillows or anything that will make you feel even better, go for it. Okay. Really making sure the last little piece of your hour of time allows you to feel and soak up the stillness and the beauty of this quiet moment. Breathing in. And slowly breathing out, I invite you to relax the forehead. Softening in the eyelids. 
Letting go in the skin. Releasing in the jaw. Relaxing the whole of the body. Letting everything just melt and soften into the mat. Giving yourself permission to rest. And today's piece just reminded me of this moment that we're in where we straddling the last of the summer sunshine and welcoming in the cold that the magic in our lives is that we need both. We need the warmth and we need the cold. And we need to find and embrace and enjoy the shift and the change and the balance. And today's piece is called You Need Both. It's by Charlotte, who's a psychologist and goes by, um, I suppose, the tag, The Mind Friend. She writes, you need both, comfort and discomfort, routine and novelty, vision and action, certainty and uncertainty, discipline, and rest, strengths and weaknesses, failures and successes, autonomy and community, growth and appreciation for what is. We need the summer, we need the winter. The magic is in the balance. You need both. Inhale and slowly exhale, trusting you're exactly where you're meant to be. Stay a little longer in the quiet. Rest, relax and reset. When you and your body feel ready, Come back into the space. The time is yours. The silence is yours. <laughs>